Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the faded film look in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want to create a cinematic type video, this is perfect for you. Some people like a look where it pops out more, you know, the colors and everything's colorful. This is kind of the opposite and this sort of look is great for, you know, motivational type things, you know, sad, you know, scenery, stuff like that because it's less vibrant and there's a fade to it. So I'm going to go ahead and change the colors and all that sort of stuff first so make the basic corrections and then apply the film look after so in this tutorial we're using lumetri color it's built into premiere pro you don't have to download anything as you can see it's very flat so you want to make it you know a bit more make it look better so we're going to increase the highlights here uh, increase the shadows a bit maybe whites slightly and then there you go maybe change the temperature a bit tints and then go to maybe color wheels and then change the midtones a bit so something like that where it has sort of a colder tint. So yeah, the first method you want to go to creative and you want to adjust the faded film. This is easy, but not really flexible and not really convenient. So if you just lift this up right here, you can see that the effect is applied to the entire video. The second method, you can choose where the effect is applied and you can change the colors, right? You can change the effect for the colors. So if you wanted the greens in the video to have that faded film look, you can do that. But with this, you can't really do that. So to do the second method, you want to go to curves. So basically the top area right here, the top right corner are the whites. So basically the bright areas in the video. If you adjust that portion, only the bright parts in the video will be affected. For the bottom are the blacks. So only the dark areas are going to be affected if you change that up and the midtones is everything else. So to make the effect happen, you just lift the blacks up and there you have it. It's the same thing as the film look right here, the faded film for the creative, except you can actually adjust it. So create another anchor right here and just lift it down a bit so that it's back to normal for the rest of the clip and then you can just lift this up a bit so that's a little bit brighter and essentially you can just lift this up and it'll create that film look so you lift this up creates that look and then you just create another point an anchor point and then just lift that down so that only the darker areas are affected and as you can see it's a bit dark at this point so you want to go to basic corrections again and just increase the exposure the great thing about this however is even if you change the exposure and the blacks and whites and stuff the film look will still be applied with the faded film here under creative, you can lift the faded effect right here and you can actually combat it using basic correction. So you can just lower the blacks and then lower the shadows so that it's a bit darker. And here you can not really see the faded film look, right? But with the curves, it's always applied because this is applied no matter how much you change something. So if you go to uh, curves right here, you can still see the effect because without the curves, you can see it's super bright. You can see that, right? And then when you apply it, it's faded and it's less aggressive. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. You can just play it right here and maybe change the basic corrections because it's a bit too, you know, dark, something like that. So now play it and then there you have it. And also you can lower the saturation so it gives a more moody feel. And this was a music video that I uploaded yesterday. So if you want to check that out, it'll be in the description as well. A lot of dislikes, uh, but whatever. But yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.